sure, I'm sure. Seen by four witnesses. You don't think I'm making it up, do you? Come on, I gotta write headlines. Why'd these crooks say they were headed for? Well, I heard some men discussing about uh, Portel Cortez. I thought they were talking about a person, but Bob insists it's a place. Yes, I looked it up. It's a dot on the map just below the border. Just a stone's throw from a small isolated harbor. Come on, Chief, let us go, will you? I'll bring you back the story of the year. Nothing doing. Can't go. Give me cash here. Hello, Fred. That crazy headline hunter Bob Lane's coming down. Give him all the expense money he wants. Charge it to special assignment. Hey, do you mean I can go? You heard what I said. Better get going before it changed my mind. Come on, let's make it snappy. What a place to come to. Oh, shut up, Flash. It's too hot to argue. Cheer up, we're coming to civilization. Señores, ¿cómo están ustedes? Uh, we're looking for friends. Anyone pass here lately? Uh, you are the first in three days. The heat is so bad, it's tremendous. You ain't kidding. Hey, how about some chow? Eh? Yeah, you know, food, eat, feedback. Oh, sí, señor, ¿cómo no? Comer, dice usted. <laughs> Carmelita! What is it, Pedro? Prepare una comida mexicana muy buena para los señores. Sí, unos tamalitos con cebollita, unos frijolitos y unos, una molcunza. ¿Cómo acostumbramos nosotros a comerla? Sí, sí, seguro. ¿Qué dijo? Mi esposa dice que ella fixa. ¡Hey, you hear that gang? We're going to eat hot dogs. <laughs> oh, no, señor. No, señor. No hot dogs in my house. Well, I don't care as long as it's hot food. Muy bien. Carmelita, make it very hot. <laughs> oh, uh, fill her up and put her in the shade, somewhere out of sight. Muy bien, señor. Enseguida. We're lucky again. No one knows of our landing. I never feel safe in this wilderness. If we're fortunate, this will be our last trip. Well, it may be our last trip anyway. I haven't got your confidence that we got away unseen. Stop whining. Get going. Maybe it's Uncle Anton. And maybe not. I'll see. Un momento, customers. Buenos días, señor. Hi, right, bud. Has anyone passed here lately? No, señor. No one has passed. Uh, well, fill it up. Sí, señor. We'll try and keep them here. But if they do come in, you get Pat away while I stall them. He'll do nothing of the kind. Now, don't argue. Senora, those men outside mustn't see us. Tell your husband quickly. You understand? Sí, señor. Sí. Hey, Silk. If you ask me, I think it's a wild goose chase. Nobody's asking you. I'll give the orders, you carry them out. Pedro. Okay. I wonder what they're mumbling about. What's all the mystery, brother? Yo no comprendo, señor. Well, that woman, what was she whispering about? Oh, my wife, she called me for dinner. Two dollars and twenty cents, please. My husband, he say nothing. Thank you very much. All right, come on, load up. We've got work to do. Oh, boy, let me at it. They're leaving. Oh! 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 I thought you said there was no one here. No, my wife. Well, so it's our nosy reporter and his watchdog. I resist that last crack. This isn't a social call, I take it. Cut the stalling. I know what you're down here for. Why stall? We're both down here for the same thing. I'm going to get my share or else. Well, so the high and mighty reporter has a price. All right, there's enough for both of us. We'll make a deal. The idea of dealing with you. Yeah, no dice. Shut up, you two, and get out. But you're not... Remember what I told you a while ago? Now get out fast before I lose my temper. Why, Bob? Come on, get out. You two. I'm not talking in front of them, either. Dismiss your gorillas. Scram, you guys. Don't you remember? Before they came in, he said I was to get you away while he stalled them. Come on, let's get rolling. No, I'm not leaving without him. Oh, all right, have it your own way. 
Now, the only proposition I'm interested in is 50-50. I'll settle with my mob and you settle with yours. No soap. But you said you'd deal. Sure. Long enough for Jack to get away with the girl. And you fell for it. Why, you double cross. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Suppose it isn't Uncle. It's your uncle, all right. That gang is behind us. What did I tell you? Now you'll have a chance to try this thing out. Get that light out. Quick!
Let's get the things out of the car and make the little lady comfortable. Oh, I beg your pardon. Next week's complete gaspy chapter of the Iron Claw.